Welcome to a new vlog, yet another soldering iron comparison video and today it's between the TS-80 and the Kaysger T12 station. Everyone knows the TS-80, it is uh, quite a popular portable soldering iron. It works with a USB Type-C input. It needs a quick charge compatible adapter though to reach full power to take benefit of the higher voltages and it's uh, a quite capable soldering iron. The drawback is the cost of the tips. It uses this proprietary type of tip and the cost is about $20 a piece. On the other hand we have the Kaysger soldering station which I reviewed in Voldog 232. I'll link that video on screen right now if you haven't seen it. And this station has a uh, built-in power supply inside this enclosure. This video is sponsored by JLCPCB.com who recently upgraded their offer so you now get 24 hours turnaround time and you can choose any solder mask color for the same price of just $2. Prototyping is now faster and cheaper so it's definitely worth checking them out. And uses the well known T12 tips which are widely available on uh, AliExpress. For example you can get one of these uh, Kaysger T12 branded tips for about $3 a piece. I think that's important because I have two or three different tip shapes that I use regularly and maybe another two or three that I use occasionally for the odd jobs. You can't just rely on a single tip shape uh, to do all of the jobs and purchasing the same number of tips that I use uh, on T12 for the TS-80 is not going to be cheap. In terms of portability the TS-80 wins because it's smaller and you can have it powered from a power bank so you can be soldering in the field in no time while the Kaysger soldering station will need a wall outlet. However there is a version of the Kaysger station which doesn't have the uh, built-in power supply but instead it's a smaller enclosure and takes up uh, 24 volts DC input through a DC jack on the back. So you could use that one with a battery pack as well or a power bank that outputs uh, something close to 20 volts but it won't be as compact as the uh, TS-80 can be. In terms of cost a uh, TS-80 uh, package will set you back about $75 shipped while the Kaysger with the built-in power supply is around $56 shipped. So by getting the Kaysger soldering station you still have money left to purchase some accessories like uh, different T12 tips or maybe one of these uh, stands. But what are the differences in terms of performance? Well on paper the TS-80 is generally rated for 18 watts but you can switch it up to 24 watts uh, from its menu settings. Well, the T12 tips used by the uh, Kaysger station are generally rated for 70 watts. So in theory T12 tips have a higher power but will that be noticeable in practice or not? We'll have to put it to a test. And um, I don't have the exact type of tip for uh, both of these. As you can see this TS-80 uh, tip looks to have quite a high thermal mass. But I chose this um, uh, knife type tip for the uh, case guard station. So I think now they are fairly similarly sized um, in terms of thermal mass. First let's measure how fast these two soldering irons will reach 300 degrees Celsius measured by this special soldering iron thermometer. I'll put a link to this in the description below in case you're interested. And we're going to start from room temperature. So here goes the test. So the Kaysger T12 did it in 17 seconds while the TS-80 did it in 23 seconds. It's not a huge difference but the superior power rating of the T12 tips has spoken and the Kaysger T12 station has won this round. Next let's see how fast they can melt a blob of solder on a large PCB copper pad. I will use the same amount of solder on both of uh, these PCBs. 
I'll let it set practically gluing the tip to the PCB pad and then I will let it cool down and suspend it in free air. Then I will start the soldering iron and we'll see which one detaches first. Both soldering irons are still set to 300 degrees Celsius and I've used this test before for comparing the TS100 with the T12 station in Vollog 186. I'll link that video on screen if you haven't seen it. The test setup has been left to cool down, so it, it is at room temperature right now. I'm going to try to turn on both soldering stations at the same time, uh, taking into account that the case gear takes longer to boot, and then I'm going to start the TS-80, hopefully uh, synchronizing them to start at the same time. And once again the Kaysger T12 wins, it was about 11 seconds faster and it was to be expected, it is rated for a much higher power than the uh, TS80 is. So I'm expecting some comments to say this wasn't a fair comparison, but still it's a comparison that I'm sure many people are interested in if they can't decide between getting the TS80 or the uh, Kaysger T12 soldering station. This test doesn't say the uh, TS-80 is uh, bad in any way, it is still a very good portable soldering iron, very capable with a convenient USB power input interface. So if you can afford to get both, by all means get both, but if you can only afford one of them, then a uh, Kaysger T12 station will get you a better soldering experience because it has higher power and it's cheaper to get replacement T12 tips. As usual, I will place links in the description below to all of the items used in this video. Make sure to check them out. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and I'll see you next week with a new video.